and select Object Mask Set. And again, we get a reflection in perspective. Now, that's great for any objects you make at Inkscape. It's fairly easy to do. Uh, if you have multiple objects, you can group them before you duplicate and reflect them. Um, you can apply that mask to a grouping of objects and you'll get the same effect, uh, which is nice. So if you have objects of different colors and, and uh, patterns and things, you can um, mask them this way and get a nice gradient type of reflection uh, very easily using that black and white mask trick. Now what we'll do here is next show you how to do this with a picture. Now what I've done is I've taken a picture here, a bitmap, and I've done this perspective transformation in the GIMP. Um, you could do it in Photoshop or whatever program you want. Uh, Inkscape can't really do a, a transformation on a bitmap like this. You would have to convert all of this to a path and it gets very complex and um, your machine will definitely chug and your results won't be any better. So it's best to take an image, uh, use a bitmap editor like the GIMP or Photoshop or something like that, PaintShop Pro. All of those programs will do kind of perspective, allow you to do some kind of perspective effect like this. So that's all I've done here. Now what I'll do is just to spice things up a little bit, I will um, create, using the Bezier tool, I'll create a rectangle kind of uh, to simulate a, a border, you know, photo paper border around this. There's lots of different ways you could create this. All I'm doing is creating a, by eye, as usual, <laughs> I'm creating a, uh, a paper border around here. I'm going to turn off the stroke and I'm going to make the fill kind of an off-white here. Okay. I will send that to the back. So you can kind of see, probably with this video quality, you won't see that, but later I'm going to turn this background black and you'll see it as well. Um, so again, what I'll do is take those objects and I will group them together. So they're one object. Now again, simply duplicate it. Oh, sorry, I forgot to duplicate that. Duplicate it first, mirror it, drag it down, and again, just use the skew handle. And try again to try and make that as close to correct as you can. And the method is no different. I'm just creating a polygon to hold that black and white mask. Turn off the stroke, set the fill to a gradient, edit the gradient to be black to solid white. And we will adjust the handles once more. Again, you may have to play with this. I may not get it right the first time uh, to make it realistic. Select both those objects and object mask set. So that's not bad. And just to give you an idea why this is a nice method is because, because you're using a mask, you can now change the background behind this, these reflections. Um, lots of times you'll see a black background looks very nice. So if I just change um, my document properties, uh, you'll see how it looks when I change the background to a solid black. So you get a nice reflection there. You can see I didn't line that up perfectly, but you get the idea. So you can get nice flat reflections and nice perspective reflections. And again, you can take a grouping of however many objects uh, and mirror them down, skew them up to align them, uh, and then do that nice mask um, to get the reflection. And that's it. I uh, hope you got some use out of it, and thank you for watching.